Hello and welcome to this video. I'm so glad you're watching. Today I will be teaching you how to take better food photos. I will be showing you the basic food blogging equipment that you need in order to take great food photos. I know when you're first starting out, it can be quite a daunting task and you don't really know what kind of food blogging equipment you need in order to take great photos. But don't worry no further, I'm Austria's biggest fitness food blogger and I will be showing you everything you need to take great photos. So let's get into the video. It's gonna be hard to take a photo without some kind of camera, so let's start off with camera equipment. I am shooting with a Nikon. I started out with a D90. Right now I have a D750. That's the one I'm filming with right now actually. And I, in between I had a Nikon D7500, which are all amazing cameras. The D7500 is one I can recommend for beginners. And um, then it all comes down to the lenses. If you want like a nice bouquet effect, which means you want to blur out the background, which makes it really professional, I would recommend you use a 50 millimeter lens because that makes a beautiful portrait effect, which means the front, the main dish is gonna be crisp and sharp, but the background will blur out and that gives it a really professional touch. Therefore, I recommend anything between a 35 millimeter and a 50 millimeter lens for your food pics. That's what I'm using, that's what I'm shooting all my food uh, photos with. For a portrait or landscape or street style, I have a different lens, but that's not the one I use for food blogging and also something that you don't need if you start out. Just make sure you have a good bouquet lens because that makes a professional picture. The next thing you really need as a basic is a backdrop. I have my backdrops in all different shapes and forms and sizes. Here is a marble one, then here I have uh, wood plates. I basically just went to my local tool shop and asked for floor samples. So these are actually floor samples that I put together and then um, I take my food photos on here. And I have them in all different materials to be able to switch them up. But again, for the basic, I recommend you just take one backdrop. I usually like to recommend something bright. That's why I love the marble background. I use it all the time. It's a really, really good point to start with. And what I do... Yeah, I just put it here and I, I basically start with the marble background. And then another basic thing I would really recommend you guys to get is a backdrop fabric. Because this is something I always, on every single food picture, I put it in the background to make the, the back really blur out and it looks more professional. If you place your dish here and then you have a white background, then you can blur out too. So a white background fabric and a white backdrop. That's like the basic basic you need in order to start with a good food photo. <laughs> Moving on to the next category. Another basic for a good food photos are um, kitchen towels. So I have them again in different colors and different textures. But again, for you guys, because this is a video about the basics, I recommend you get a white kitchen towel. This is something you can use for every single food photo. I use it a lot. I also just place it in the background of my photo because it makes it look more interesting. Then, let's move on to props. I have all different kind of props. Regarding the basics, I recommend you always have like a bowl and then a marble platter and then different kinds of little spoons, forks, big spoons, anything that concerns tableware. Just get as much as you can because that is really like a little touch of detail that will make your food photo look even better. And then I usually like to place my marble platter 
here and then the bowl or the glass anything um, that I'm serving my dish in on it and then let's say I'm taking photos of the bowl I will place the spoon next to it and this is basically already everything you need in order for a good food photo to make it even more interesting Let's move on to the next category, which is decoration items. I have a whole bag, actually it's more, it's just, it's just a small selection of different things that I use for decoration. For example, this I would put like in the background. And then I have a lot of seasonal stuff that I would not use for every photo. For example, if it's Easter season, I have like a bunny. Um, there's a rope that always looks really good if you just put it in the background somewhere. And then, yeah, just <laughs> different kinds of things like Easter eggs or cookie cutters that I like to use for fruit. So make sure you, you have some little decoration items that you can put around your food photo because that will make it look even nicer. And then I recommend you have like a little, tiny little bowl where you can showcase any of the ingredients that you use in your dish. And then just, let's say I am making um, like a pad thai or something and I use uh, peanut butter or peanuts in general. I would um, put some peanuts in here and then put them, put it right next to my pad thai bowl and then maybe I would sprinkle some peanuts all over, all over again. So to make it look more interesting. And then the final, final thing that I want you to leave, uh, leave you with is get a reflector. This is really also one of the basics that you guys should have as a food blogger. It will make your picture look so much better in an instant because it reflects the light back onto your photo, which means it will have less shadows. And then you don't need to edit that much on Lightroom. And for example, Today the sun comes from this side, so that means that the light comes uh, hits my photo from this side, which means I will put the reflector on this side to have the light reflect back on my bowl. So all the shadows here will be gone because the light is reflected onto the dish again. So I will have more light on the photo. That's something I do on every single photo and something I would totally recommend you to do it too. I have a blog post on basic food blogging equipment which I will link in the description. Have a look at that. I will have all um, the basic equipment I have linked to so you can find the products right away. I hope this video was helpful for you and yeah, like and subscribe.